talked about Oddball Aeronauts, which is a game coming to Kickstarter soon, if it's not already on Kickstarter. And it's a game for two players that is a war game, and it's a war game that requires no table to play it. Which I will prove very shortly. The beautiful day on the mountain. Ah. So in Oddball Aeronauts, it's basically a war game. What happens is, is everybody has a separate stack of cards, and in this stack of cards, you have your warriors. It's you're a pirate ship, an airship, you got guys that ride with you. So on every turn, what you do is you look at the top three cards of your deck and you look at what skills are there, sailing, cannons, or boarding. The top card on the stack is the base stat. So whatever number is large there is your additional, your, your original stat. Then the two cards below have the potential to be support cards. Now the support cards, what you're looking at is you're looking at the plus number. So what you do is you add that top number with the plus numbers below and you decide which skill is your best. And then you decide how many cards you're gonna use. You can use one through three cards. You don't have to use them all. And so what'll happen is you and your opponent will both declare what you're gonna do, either sailing or cannons or boarding. And then you'll Rochambeau, rock, paper, scissors. And at the same time, you guys reveal how many cards you're gonna play. So two cards, one card, three cards. And then after that, you declare what your score was. That is the, the bottom layer. So if you wanna add a layer of complexity to the game, which, you know, the game has, what you do is you look at the sailing, boarding, or cannon. So depending on the winner, depends on what happens. So if the winner is sailing, what'll happen is, is you take the cards that you played, you put them on the bottom of your deck, face down, and then if you were sailing, you get to get the top two cards that were discarded back. So you flip them over, but they still stay down where they were. They're just now there. Because the goal of the game is to be the last person with cards. You want to defeat your opponent by getting rid of his deck. Cannons is very helpful for this because when you win as cannons, what happens is, is your opponent who loses, they lose the one card that they always lose when they lose, and then they also lose two additional cards. So you play with boarding and you win with boarding. It's so very similar to sailing, but you only get one card back instead of two. Damn, Tahoe, you're so fun. You're so fun, you blow my mind, oh hey. Whew. Let's get real, guys. We've been playing oddball aeronauts on the lifts. This is, these are my friends, guys. Hi. I have I have ones in real life. Uh, We're so paid. <laughs> we finished two whole games on the lift, like one lift, and then we just played a bunch of other ones. And I don't know, I I, I had fun. Did you guys? Did yeah. you like that game? It was fun. It was fun. I liked it. Yeah. I liked how like easy it was. You know, you could just kind of like pick it up. It'd be really great for like playing with your friends on public transit, or like if you're still in school. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Like on the train or on the bus or something? Yeah, yeah. It, it is a great time together. And the best part is, is you don't you don't need a surface. We were playing on a ski lift. If we dropped a card, like it was gone. Like I'm not I'm not skiing through rocks to get that card. I would have yeah. saved it. You you would have saved the card. He would have hiked for you. He's so nice. So how about Air Buzz? I I actually really like this game. It's it's packable, like it's actually in I have the I have one deck in each pocket and it's I forgot they were there at one point but it's a good game it's simple it's easy to learn I mean I taught everybody on the ski lift I taught everybody how to play the game as soon as we sat down and even with doing that on two of the lifts these are what five minute lifts mm -hmm. if that we could play full games so um, we were rushing a little bit at the end but you know maybe some tactical decisions were not wisely made the replayability is pretty large especially because uh, in the full set of the game, there will be character cards that you can swap out, so you can kind of customize your own deck, which is awesome. It's a lot of fun. You can play it basically anywhere. You need no surface to play. There is actually strategy in depth. The games are quick. I find it a lot more entertaining than just war, which is just, you know, slap, no ch just chance. I've played this game with kids. I've played this game with adults. Everybody loves this game. The kids, I had one kid. I'll just, I'll just show the clip. Right here. This is officially the best card game in the world. <laughs> so it's good for kids. I played it with a seven year old. He needed a little bit of help with like strategy stuff, but he could do the math. It was a great math game for him. And yeah, so seven, seven year old, 11 year old, I think I had a, a round of 10 year olds, and then you know, a whole slew of, of adults of various ages and inebriations. So, you know, <laughs> this game works. Oddball Aeronauts is a travel card game that is actually an honest to God travel card game because you don't need a surface to play it. As a matter of fact, I could laminate the cards and probably take them kayaking. That would be awesome. Let's do that. Awesome. We could do that this summer. We're laminating. Nigel, make make laminated cards, and I will take them river rafting. Wait, put little bubbles in them so they float. That, that's <laughs> even better. That's even better. Oddball Aeronauts is fantastic. You should definitely check out their Kickstarter, which will be linked to my face somewhere. I don't know. I should probably turn around. 
If you liked this video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's magic, you know. Da -da 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 -da. Death. And that's how Tiffany broke her leg.